Thanks Evgeny for joining us today. Could you please introduce Clausmatch and your role in the company? Hi, it's great to be here. I'm the founder and CEO of Clausmatch, and uh, at Clausmatch we help regulated companies in regulated industries to comply with regulations and uh, manage compliance content um, in a modern, compliant and uh, real-time way. Thank you very much. Uh, so what are the problems that Clausmatch solves for the customers? And if you could please share the latest use cases and how your solutions evolved during the time. Yes, absolutely. At Clausmatch, we help um, our customers to manage compliance content uh, like policies, procedures, regulatory obligations in one single place, and then uh, to distribute that compliance content uh, to employees um, in a compliant way and track engagement with um, with these documents. Uh, Close match as a platform is solving the problem that I have seen personally in the financial services industry and before that working in oil and gas. Um, and that is the fact that we're still managing compliance documents in the same way as 20 years ago. Uh, with Close match, rather than, for example, sending a policy document when it's being updated via a via email in, as a Word document um, and trying to get comments, changes, approval, suggestions on this document via email, all of that is centralized. And once that document is approved by the relevant people, by the committees, and you know checked for compliance with the related uh, regulatory obligation, it's then distributed to employees via what we call an employee portal, uh, where employees can engage with this content, ask questions, provide attestations, and we can actually track that certain employees have read this document. Thank you very much, that's brilliant. So you touched on the solutions that you're providing to the customers. And so what, what is the USP of, of Clausmatch then? So our unique uh, part of Clausmatch is uh, what we call a document editor. A uh, long time ago, when this technology wasn't really available to the market, we decided to build a real-time content and document collaboration uh, as a core of the platform. And uh, even today on the market, we don't see uh, many companies uh, developing that type of technology um, because it's quite challenging. Um, and at the same time, because we control and we help our customers to control the content creation process, that means that we are storing that content as structured data and that also means that we can apply machine learning and natural language processing to this content and then help our customers and our users to highlight related content uh, within the platform as an example you know a practical example would be uh, mapping and uh, identifying uh, relevant and related regulatory obligations uh, mapping them to policies and then in turn mapping them to procedures. So when, for example, you are changing a policy document or a specific paragraph in that policy document, you know exactly how, um, where the impact is across the organization on other related documents. Thank you very much. So you touched on the compliance and the regulations and policies. So what are the, uh, the, the trends in the compliance space that you, you observe now, nowadays? So we're seeing a uh, big change in uh, companies looking at new regulations. Uh, for example, ESG, um, you know, ESG standards and ESG regulation across the world are affecting uh, how companies are, for example, evaluating their vendors, how companies are evaluated by their investors. Um, and that means that a much wider audience of companies are required to comply with uh, ESG standards and regulations. Um, and uh, there is a big interest and you know a big change in companies uh, adopting new policies, new procedures, um, and actually following the ESG standards, which are being pushed out by organizations or countries or governments. Um, in, I guess in uh, another kind of financial services uh, sphere, 
uh, we're seeing crypto regulations are being talked about quite a lot. And actually, we, we're working with a number of uh, crypto companies um, which are following the trend of potential new crypto regulations. And um, you know, they're managing compliance documents in a very similar way. Obviously, they're part of you know, anti-money laundering regulations and they need to comply with them. But there are new regulations which are being um, drafted now. Um, so that is another uh, emerging uh, field in regulations. Thank you very much. That's brilliant. So you touched on the, the features that you have developed uh, and serving your customers as well as um, the, the goals. So Close Match celebrates its 10th anniversary this year. What are the milestones that company has achieved during the journey? And what are your further growth strategies? Yeah, absolutely. So I guess what, uh, a few milestones. Um, our first client was uh, Barclays after we participated in the Barclays Accelerator, um, which was run by Techstars, um, the US accelerator uh, for companies. And uh, that has been a great partnership. We've been working with Barclays now for over six years. Um, and they have proven to be an amazing client for us. Um, so that was the first milestone, which then enabled us to create a case study with Barclays and then uh, show to other banks how compliance could be done in a better, modern way. Uh, the next milestone was really when we raised um, a large round of funding uh, in 2018, which was led by Index Ventures. Um, and Talis Capital, uh, both are well-known uh, venture capital funds. Um, and that enabled us to really expand our team and uh, build out the products that we had. For example, we um, came out with a new portal, employee portal module, exceptions management module, compliance assessment module. And uh, this really helped us to expand our product offerings. Um, and then 2020 was a big year for us when, uh, you know, a big milestone was um, getting four North American clients um, and expanding to North America based on the demand that we're getting from the U.S. and Canadian markets. Um, so this was a huge milestone because um, uh, we know it's very difficult to expand to the U.S. market. And uh, typically, it you know, it takes a lot of time and uh, resources to expand there. But um, on the back of signing uh, great tier one financial institutions in North America, we managed to expand and we're growing that team there, um, our team there. Uh, otherwise, yes, the last two years has have been great as well in uh, working with other adjacent industries. So. We've signed a number of uh, clients in asset management and insurance. Uh, so that really added more verticals to where our software has been used. Thank you. And uh, lastly, what is the latest news uh, about Cosmatch or from Cosmatch? So the latest news, we, uh, we raised another uh, round of funding last year, uh, which is enabling us to continue growing, to continue really streamlining our go-to-market strategy in Europe and uh, US, uh, which are currently core markets for us. Um, and uh, an interesting fact that Sony Innovation Fund, which is part of Sony Corporation, also invested in this round. Um, and for them, you know, this was a strategic investment because large companies are realizing that regulation is not going away and regulation is just uh, becoming more complex and applicable to wider types of companies, um, you know, by way of data privacy regulations, for example, anti-money laundering, know your customer. It doesn't just apply to financial services, but actually every industry is now becoming heavily regulated. That's brilliant news. Uh, congratulations on that. And, and thank you very much for your time, Evgeny. Thank you very much. And thank you for having me.